Welcome back. This week, I was joined by two other North Central High School graduate alums, Jen and my sister Megan, as we discussed 1985's Vision Quest. In my opinion, a very special episode of the Real Relationships podcast because not only was it based on a true story written by Terry Davis in 1979, but it was also shot on location throughout Spokane and also features North Central High School's wrestling team or in the movie, Thompson Falls. Nevertheless, Vision Quest stars Matthew Modine as Loudon, an aspiring high school wrestling champion in Spokane, Washington. And for many decades, North Central has ruled the roost, so to speak, in Washington State Wrestling, with many families passing down this legacy that continues with wrestlers who are on the team still. When Jen and I went to school, North Central won the state championship and most recently brought the state championship home in 2004. Go Big Red! Built in 1908, North Central was Spokane's second high school, but first in so many other ways that I will talk about. The original North Central was demolished in 1980 with the school Jen, Megan, and I attended built in 1981. And in 2018, after Spokane voters approved a bond measure, North Central was transformed again into a 21st century school that has become notable for its STEM programs that provide opportunities to teenagers from all backgrounds in Spokane. And for many people, high school is full of memories of dances, classes, friends, food, extracurriculars, and so much more. For me, high school was a time where I met friends and as discussed in our gross point blank episode, immersed myself as yearbook editor for three years. This is my, my senior yearbook. In this role, I got to see every aspect of the school from sports to drama to academics to even learning about our school's history and some of the famous people who have walked our halls. And North Central is truly like no other, as I coined for the theme of the 1997 yearbook, or the Tamarack, as we call it. Located just north of downtown and central to the city, North Central is notable for a few things beyond wrestling. In 1991, our rivals, Shadle, created a basketball-themed rivalry that continues to this day called Groovy Shoes. While our school's teams battle it out on the court, the most important competition takes place in the stands of the Spokane Arena. Using school symbols and colors, North Central's is red and black, our school song is Oh Red and Black, and I promise I will spare you singing our spirit song, but I do remember it. And each year, students from each class design a groovy looking shoe that then becomes the possession of the winning team for the, fall, uh, for the year. There is a week long buildup where students decorate the halls according to that year's theme. And then the week before the game, we get hyped with different spirit days, different themes, different activities. And then during the Groovy Shoes Con, students learn cheers, meet the characters involved in this year's theme and past themes have included Star Wars, Alice in Groovy Land, Code Red, Once Upon a Shoe, and Drive Shoes. And we get excited for the game. Then students leave the North Central Auditorium and walk to the Spokane Arena, which is about a quarter of a mile away. 
And personally, I always loved marching to the arena with my classmates, cheering on the NC men's and women's team as we battled Shadow Park. It was always so fun. And another North Central tradition is the production of a play called The Doll Shop. Now, North Central is notable for its theater department since their productions consist of student-made sets, of which I helped with, student-designed lights, student-designed costumes. Again, I was part of that, professional tickets and programs, and even dedicated ushers. And every three years, North Central puts on a massive, and when I say massive, I seriously mean massive, anywhere from 300 to sometimes as many as 500 kids participate in this production. And this tradition began in 1930 and was such a huge success that it continued every year until 1958. Gone But Not Forgotten, it was revived in 1984 by then drama department director, Tom Armitage, who was my teacher along with Megan's teacher. Since The Doll Shop is student written, the story is different every three years. I was in Doll Shop in 1996 and performed in a Hans and Franz style parody to the village people's Macho Man. So I was dressed in a gray sweatsuit and I had fake muscles in my arms, in my legs, I had fake abs. It was a lot of fun. I did some acrobatics and yeah, great memories, great times, great friends. The 1999 play was about the last doll shop of the 20th century. And in 2002, of which Megan was a part of, was a sequel to the 1999 show. And recent themes on the doll shop have included parodies of reality TV. There was um, the 2008 production of Doll Shop that celebrated the 100th birthday of North Central. And in high school, I made many friends who enjoyed writing, drama club, and of course, yearbook. So it was then that I found my love of movies that continues today and was, I guess, part of this podcast being born. So thank you, North Central. Thank you, high school friends. And thank you for those memories. And let's hear about Jen's North Central memories. Hello, so memories of when I attended North Central High School. I loved going to school to see my friends. I didn't miss a lot of school. In fact, I had a streak of perfect attendance dating back from junior high, but I can't remember if I missed any days during senior year. I met my first love at North Central. My favorite place to eat with friends during school lunch was Pizza Rita. I remember getting two slices and one soda for the price of one. And back then I believe it was just $2. Pizza Rita was a short distance or walking distance from school, and as soon as I could start driving, my favorite place was Zips on Northwest Boulevard. I do remember ordering a kid's meal once just so I didn't have to pay full price. My English class was during first period lunch, and I was in second period lunch, but I had friends in both. I remember using the bathroom pass from English class and visiting friends in first period lunch. And then my last um, fun memory was, I believe Thursdays was a late start day, but two of my friends and I would go to another friend's house that lived close to North Central, and we would get ready and do our makeup together before school. And that was a fun memory. Thank you so much, Jen. And Megan sent the following regarding her high school memories at North Central. Groovy Shoes Week. I loved that the days before Groovy Shoes was always themed like Western Day, Superhero Day, Disco Day, and PJ Day. There was always the big game and that was always fun. Open Campus Lunch, you either went to Pizza Rita or 7-Eleven. Driver's Ed, I took it in the summer and got in trouble for driving my car to Driver's Ed. Also, I still have flashbacks about the movie they showed us about really bad car accidents and drunk driving. I think it was called Red Asphalt. 
also the mock accident that they would do right before prom. I'm not sure if they still do that. Doll shop. That was such a fun tradition with Mr. Armitage. I helped with costumes the year that my class did it. So much work, but well worth it. Smoker's Corner. The fact that it's still there makes me laugh. I have so many other memories, mostly about people and trends that were happening when I attended. Thank you both. We hope everyone has at least a handful of really good memories from high school. Go ahead and please share them in the comments. And while you're at it, go ahead and tell the subscribe button that you hope they always stay cool so you never miss anything. As you know, new episodes of the Real Relationships podcast drop every Thursday. New episodes of this show also drop every Thursday on YouTube. Vision Quest was our final movie for 2023, but please join us in 2024. We have an exciting lineup, the first of which is what we are affectionately calling Cageuary. That's right, it's going to be four films starring Nicolas Cage, the first of which is Face Off, one of the most bonkers movies I've ever seen, a concept of which is easily debunked within seconds, but it's a lot of fun and Nicolas Cage always brings his absolute cagiest best. It's always just right up here. We thank you so much for your listenership, for your support, for your viewership, and until then, we will see you soon.